Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, in preparation for his release on Global in a couple days, we are going to be showcasing the Int LR Super Saiyan God Goku at Rainbow Status to help those of you who are a little bit unsure about whether or not you want to summon for this unit, whether or not he's worth adding to your collection, whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned stones on his very mediocre banner. Hopefully all of those questions will be answered by the end of this video and without further ado, let's jump into the gameplay and see what he can do. Alright, so as you can see we are on the legendary Goku event running a Goku's family team and he's starting with 83,860 defense which is okay but it's not awesome but he does stack defense with his supers so it should be much better later on all right so let's try to get him a nice super here uh, i'll give these ones to the kauken goku and we can save all these int orbs for him that's a 22 key super unfortunately not a full 24 but still pretty decent no support on rotation but we will be getting the int kid gohan in a second who gives 50 percent to super int so that should be a nice rotation all right 2.8 mil for the first super give me a nice crit here come on there we go 2.4 mil crit and we also got the dodge so uh this guy on his passive he does get a high chance to perform a critical hit and also evade attacks um from enemies for the first seven turns so both of those were on display right there we got the crit and then we got the uh the dodge pretty good pretty good first turn and I gotta say, one thing this guy has going for him, for sure, is that uh, super attack animation. Like, it's gotta be one of the cleanest animations in the entire game. When I first saw it, when it first came out on JP, I was like, dude, I don't really know how good he's gonna be, but for the animation alone, he's worth summoning for, in my opinion. And then I found out more about the unit, and I still think he's worth summoning for. I personally will be summoning for him, but as I would recommend to most people, I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm going to do like maybe 150, 200 stones at most. Obviously to some people that's a lot, to some people it's not a lot. It depends on how big of a whale you are. But to me that's like not that many stones, but also not zero stones. So I'm going to do like 200 stones, see what happens. If I don't get him, then I don't get him. He's not a unit that I really, really need. But a unit I would definitely love to have, that's for sure. Okay, so second turn now. We did get one super off, and we also have the Int Kid Gohan support, 165,772 defense, much better. That's pretty That's pretty much double from the last turn, right? So what should we do here now? Um, so I'm not going to let this guy super because he just does a lot of damage. I'm scared that like a double super would kill the Super Saiyan, um, the enemy Goku basically. So I think that's a good call. And... This should be pretty nice. This should be pretty nice. 3.9 mil. I love it. I love it. Yo, what was it before? 2.8? So we went from 2.8 to 3.9 with a 3.3 mil crit. And we also, I think, greatly lowered his defense. But it doesn't matter because he's dead. So <laughs> I like it. I like it. I know one thing that a lot of people were concerned about when they first saw this card's details. And I personally was was too, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like I wasn't gonna. I'm not gonna say like when I first saw it, I was like, "Yo, guys, don't worry, he's gonna be awesome." When I first saw the passive on this guy, um, when the initial details came out on JP a couple months ago, I was a little bit skeptical too, man, because he only gets 77% attack on his passive and only up to 55% defense, and you have to like have the right team for that. You have to have at least five. Um, pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans uh, uh, allies on the team, which of course we have on this team, but on certain teams, if you don't have that, then his defense will be even lower. So I was like, you know, those numbers are not great, man. 77% attack, 55% defense, not very impressive. But as you can see, I mean, for this guy, like those buffs are actually quite good enough because he has a very high attack stat. I think his defense stat is like pretty decently high as well and uh, of course the high chance to crit and the high chance to dodge help a lot too so even without the dodge only 60 damage and then we got the dodge 
And now our super is doing about 3.1 mil, which is very good damage. And we're, we're still critting. Like, I don't think we've had an attack that was not a crit so far. Okay, so we didn't dodge that one, but we only took 41 damage. So obviously defensively, he can hold his own. He's definitely holding his own defensively. I mean, we are pretty early in the event, but still taking a super from the Legendary Goku event for double digit damage is nothing to scoff at, dude. Nothing to scoff at. So let's see if we can get one more rotation with the Kid Gohan supporting. I'm not really sure if it's possible. Um, I mean, obviously if I keep going, I, I could do that, but I kind of want to get that before the latter part of his passive goes away because it only lasts for seven turns. That's the that's the big thing. Like, I wish it was forever. I wish he had the high chance to crit and dodge forever. I don't think it would have made him too broken. I think it would have just made him like as good as people wanted him to be. And that turn restriction is definitely one criticism a lot of people have. They're like, yo, for longer events like this one right now that we're running, the uh, legendary Goku event, he's not going to be able to... Um, and he's not going to be that good after he loses that high chance. And I mean, I, I kind of agree, like he's not as good. He's not going to be bad though, right? Like he's not terrible just because he doesn't have a high chance to crit and dodge. Um, he now has 125,000 defense. So still, you know, going to be tanking okay. He's not going to be the best tank out there. He doesn't have like a percentage damage reduction, like... I don't know, you know, uh, Golden Frieza or anything like that. So don't expect him to tank as well as those guys. But for what he is, he's pretty much good at everything. He's going to give you good damage. He's going to give you a uh, solid defense. And he also, um, he, what else can he do? He can't heal, unfortunately. That'd be nice if he could heal. Um, he does attack, raise, raise his attack and defense on supers. So as long as you're continuously supering with him every single turn, you should be able to maintain a good level of attack and defense. Um, I guess that's all there is to say about this guy. Like, I would say he's not a... He's not like in the upper echelon, not in the top, top tier of summonable LRs, that's for sure. Like, he's not on the same level. I mean, close to Kale and Khalifla, or Gohan and Goten, or even the Super Saiyan 4s, I think, are quite a bit better, but... That being said, he's still very, very good. He's still an extremely good unit. Definitely a unit I would love to have. Um, if not, I mean, <laughs> one of the big things that really interests me about this guy is his leader skill, right? If you guys didn't see, it's pure Saiyans and hybrid Saiyans. Keep plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%. And those are two of the biggest categories in the entire game, right? So the fact that we can run those two categories under the same leader is uh, definitely a big reason why I want this guy. But that being said, if you guys want to skip him, it's really not a hard skip either, right? So now we have the Kid Gohan uh, support once again. He does get the uh, Dokkan Awakening on Global, by the way, at the same time as the Godku Banner's release. So we should be able to run this rotation on Global if you get lucky enough to pull the Godku. Um, 165,000 defense, attack is 395,000, and we should be getting around the same as before. So I think it was, what, 3.9-ish mil, right? All right, let's see. Let's see. This might be the last turn of the showcase. Yeah, 3.9 mil. It looks like that's where he's going to max out at, at least for this team and with the supports I have. I know that if you you know, like do some like crazy things with supports and active skills and all that stuff, you can definitely get more damage. But I think this is a very realistic representation of what you can realistically re realistically see from the Int God coup on a team that you would realistically run for events in the game. So 3.9 mil is where I'm maxing out at, and that's pretty good. That's pretty good, but we've gotten spoiled recently, I think, with like units that can do just this, these insane numbers like Goku and Frieza, Gohan and Goten, um, the list goes on. There are even some like TURs that can probably hit harder. Actually, what I'm talking about, the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kakin Goku, he can get up to like 5 million, at least in my showcase, he got up to 5 million attack. So when you compare it to that, you're like, oh, it's not that impressive, I guess, but you can't really compare 
um, every unit to like some of the most broken units in the game. So I'd say he's good. I would I would still love him. I would still I would still love him. I would still love to have him. I would still summon for him. But uh, what I'm curious about is that now that we're close to the end of the video, I'm probably just gonna do one more rotation. Actually, let's go for the Dokkan attack here. So we're gonna go and give the God Ku a Dokkan attack. Can we get the full 24? I don't think so. Yeah, that's not, that's not possible. So still a 18 key super, Dokkan attack. And uh, you know, once we're done this, I'm gonna end the video. So before you guys go, let me know in the comments down below whether or not this video, oh please don't super me. Okay, we're so good. <laughs> whether or not this video convinced you to summon for the Int God Goku once he drops on Global, or are you gonna completely skip the banner? Ah, oh, crap, damn. I didn't miss that last one. I swear I clicked it. I swear I did. Whether or not um, you're gonna skip the banner and save for something else, like the STR Cooler or the Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 3 Goku, or the Blue Boys during the five year anniversary, the Gogeta and Vegito. Either way, whatever you decide, I would love to hear about it. 4.2 mil, not too shabby. Uh, double digits right there. Can we also tank this for a decent amount? 3.9K, damn. That's actually really good. That's really, really good from the Super Saiyan Godku stage. Okay, so we're healing back up, but I'm not gonna keep going because there's just nothing else to see so uh yeah let me know what you guys are gonna do after watching this video did this video convince you to summon for int god ku on global or are you skipping as i said many times i'm personally i am summoning so stay tuned for a summoning video but it's gonna be a fairly conservative one right like 150 200 stones that's gonna be my limit hopefully i do pull him it'd be fun to do some like showcases and stuff with the pure saiyans and um you know, Hyper Saiyan's team on, on the main account, but we'll see. Whatever happens, happens. If I don't pull him, I won't be that sad. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.